Assalamu alaikum, everyone. In the most holy name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, we give praise and thanks to Allah for his mercy upon humanity, giving us his prophets and messengers to bring us back to the right path and into his grace when we go astray. And we know that among them are many that we don't know their names. But we do thank him for those we do know, and among them are Moses with the Torah, Jesus Christ with the Gospel, Muhammad ibn Abdullah and the Holy Quran. But I can never thank Allah enough for his intervention in our affairs, the black man and woman in North America, in the person of Master Farid Muhammad, the great Mahdi. We thank him for raising up the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, who we now know to be, or we will come to know to be, the promised Messiah and predicted Christ of Scripture. And we thank the most honorable Elijah Muhammad for raising up his national representative. The best example and the only true example in our midst today of a free and independent black man who is not only in time but on time in the fullness of time and I'm speaking of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I greet my beloved brothers and sisters in the greeting words of peace of Isalam alaikum. I'm going to be very brief. Um, I know that uh, Brother Amin already indicated we, we, we could tell by the energy of those of you who came out on this cold, dark December night, <laughs> that it was worth your while. Uh, this is a hard time of year for people <laughs> to move about and especially to engage in a study uh, of self. And uh, just wanted to share with you briefly, I sat in Brother Billy Muhammad's circle and there was a very intriguing discussion on Satan and the conversation that he had with Allah that Minister Farrakhan referenced uh, in the press conference. And it was interesting that when he got to that segment of his message, he specifically spoke to the Muslims. He said, you who are Muslim. And then he related that dialogue. And we were talking in our circle about there's the external Satan, but the Satan we are after in this day and time is the Satan of self. And uh, one of our, I think Sister Kalisa raised the issue of, and I know I had this view too when I first read these various references in the Holy Quran because several times the Holy Quran refers to this conflict between Allah and Iblis, who is Satan, and I think when the minister said, you who are Muslim, like, in other words, you all should know. You know what I'm talking about. Well, if, if you recall, if, if you read those verses in the Quran, Allah had decided he was going to place a ruler in the earth. And he spoke this plan to the angels. And the angels were concerned, but they submitted. All except Iblis. And so the question came up, with, as Sister Kalisa raised, that the nerve, and I remember being appalled, you know, coming into Islam, that how do you get in God's face and say, I'm not doing it? Okay, well, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has taught us, and later on in this study course you'll see it, but if you pay attention especially to his recent messages, he is getting now to the root of the whole entire problem with humanity and removing or Allah is Christ are removing through him and the messages to us that final impediment in the quest for perfection. Well he said that when Allah was addressing the angels he was talking to himself. He was talking to the forces within himself. And so the Satan in the uh, God who is self-created, the originator of the heavens and the earth, that rebellion and opposition to his will was in part of his own mind. 
This is why he said in, in this press conference, Satan was doomed from the day he was made. Well, he was within the mind of the originator, but he said to Satan, get out from here. Well, the minister said he pushed him aside, but did not eliminate him. And his presence or the presence of a rebellious mind, which persists today, is what has to be uprooted in order for perfection to be achieved in Allah's universe. And Master Fawad Muhammad, his coming signals the removal of that impediment, which is the rebellion in our own mind. So if I hear we're trying to raise $10 million to say thank you, Minister Farrakhan, here's a symbol of our gratitude to you for laying down your life and giving us life. We're just gonna give you a little symbol, a little That's token right. Right. of our appreciation. Right. Here's $10 million, okay? So I say in my mind, I'm going to give to that effort. But another part of my mind says, I don't wanna do it. I ain't doing that. I already do this or I've done that or I'm not happy with the way, way things are. That's the opposition. So Allah, as we learned in study guide three, he creates us to face difficulty. He creates us to overcome opposition. The minister wrote in the study guide, every prophet, every messenger, there's never been one who did not face severe opposition. So when you come up and think about in life, every time you come up and say, well, I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna get a new house. You can't do that. If you try to do that, you ain't got the money to do that. Or your husband or your wife or your children or your name, so they're, gonna, they're gonna talk about you. They're gonna oppose you. See, I am not bowing. And so when you purpose to do it and say, I'm doing it anyway, what does the Satan of self say? I'm gonna lie in the straight path. I'm getting right in your way. And I'm gonna cause those who are with you, who are the others that are with you? Your other thoughts. So the minister says, until we unite our own thoughts within our mind, then we are immobilized. So some of those things come up, fear, greed, envy, uh, vanity. See, these are the things he spoke of previously. So I just wanted to, to uh, share that. And remember in the study guide, self is defined as the uniting principle. See, accept your own and be yourself, possessive. Your self, your uniting principle, that which knows, that which desires, that which remembers and suffers, being the same throughout. That's to be yourself when you and I are united. And that's when we have peace of mind because we don't have some oppositional thought that's keeping us up at night and hammering at us. And then I'm getting up for prayer. Go ahead, I ain't. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> and I'll share a personal thought like that I have often. I'm going to fast. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm eating this ice cream and I'm eating it tonight. <laughs> This is the war that we have to fight and win. The war within self until we be, until we accept our own and be ourselves. And as Jesus said, peace be still. I am God. And in witnessing, see, we study the prophets. We study the honorable Elijah Muhammad, but we are witnessing the life experience of Minister Louis Farrakhan in our midst. That's some mercy and grace that a real live man who we can emulate 
And as I talked last week from his writing, we all have a sphere of capacity. You already have it. I already have it. And once we ascertain what it is, Allah already placed the way, the methodology to work within that sphere of capacity to achieve perfection. Us. So we're not the God, but we are a God. And so when this propaganda war that's brewing against the nation of Islam, and trust and believe it's coming, now the news is saturated with all these white women talking about they've been assaulted, and they probably have, okay? But there's a culture of, of the devil that breeds this type of behavior on both sides. So it's gonna force this society to confront its own behavior. And when the minister said the uh, president got in a dispute with the Pope of Rome, See, Donald Trump, one thing about Satan, Satan is not a hypocrite. He's going to tell you <laughs> what he thinks. He's not going to smile. So D Donald Trump is like, who is the Pope to tell me I can't build no wall? And the minister said, you know what? He's got a point. Because you're on his case about a wall, but look at the wall you erected between yourself and the poor and the needy. Look at how you came and uh, how Europeans, white Europeans came into America under a papal or papal bull, an edict that gave them the right to come in and annihilate the Native American population. Gave them the right to go to West Africa and kidnap children, because that's who they took. You think they took 50 year olds and put them in? They were grabbing 12 and 13 year old, you talk about pedophiles. All right, so, but all of that is leading to an assault on the reputation of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So we gotta strengthen ourselves and get rooted and we gotta be sophisticated in how we respond to these attacks, how we handle these attacks. When they send some Uncle Tom handkerchief head Negro with us, we can't let emotion take over. When there's a wild dog, somebody's pit bull is running around the neighborhood biting people, you don't deal with the dog and say, dog, stop biting, because dogs bite. You go to the owner, knock on the door, of the home of the owner said, let me tell you something. You better do something about your dog. Or you and your dog are going to have to leave this neighborhood. So yeah, you want America to be great again? We want the planet Earth to be good again. Right? So may Allah bless us all with love and the light of understanding. Next week, we will have um, paper copies of the uh, study assignment. Now, while we are in the press conference as study, uh, we do not have it in book form yet. And so we did provide on the website, study.noi.org, we have the full transcript of the press conference. And if you see Brother Troy after the meeting and get on the email list, um, then you will get this every week, but you should also visit the website, and then you can get every tool, as well as reading material, references, and of course the minister's press conference is on YouTube, it's on NOI.org, it's available for us to watch. It's outside, you can get it out there when you leave here, so do not uh, be found unaware of the content of the November 16th message to the United States government, the people of the United States, and black people. So may Allah bless us all.